Avoid travel to Lebanon, Indian Embassy's advisory to nationals amid violence. Amid escalating tensions in the Middle East, the Indian Embassy in Beirut on Wednesday issued a safety advisory for Indian nationals to avoid traveling to Lebanon. The advisory comes as Israel prepares for a likely ground operation in Lebanon after launching wide-ranging airstrikes in the past four days. In a post on X, the embassy reiterated its earlier advisory from August 1, 2024, strongly urging Indians to avoid travel to Lebanon until further notice. As a reiteration of the advisory issued on August 1, 2024 and in view of the recent developments and escalations in the region, Indian nationals are strongly advised against traveling to Lebanon till further notice, the embassy said. Those already in Lebanon are strongly advised to leave while those who cannot are instructed to exercise extreme caution, limit their movements, and stay in contact with the embassy. All Indian nationals already in Lebanon are also strongly advised to leave Lebanon. Those who remain for any reason are advised to exercise extreme caution, restrict their movements, and remain in contact with the Embassy of India in Beirut through our email ID, cons.beirut at maya.gov.in or the emergency phone number plus 9617686012, the embassy said. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Keir Starmer has also urged British citizens in Lebanon to leave immediately as the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah intensifies. The UK has deployed around 700 troops to Cyprus in preparation for any emergency. Speaking at the Labour Party conference in Liverpool, Starmer called for de-escalation and a ceasefire, emphasising the need to prevent further conflict. The US and France on Wednesday called for a 21-day temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah to pave the way for broader negotiations. This comes as UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres warned the UN Security Council that hell is breaking loose in Lebanon. Israel's top general announced preparations for a potential ground operation into Lebanon after a three-day bombing campaign that has killed over 600 people, escalating concerns of a regional conflict however, Netanyahu on Thursday instructed war to continue in full force after ministers blast the potential Lebanon ceasefire.